Well, this week in the Northeast, it'll be mainly dry with fall-like temperatures. And what's going on in the tropics? I'm meteorologist Mike Mahalik, and I'll have more right after this. Hello everyone, it's Tuesday afternoon and that means it's forecast update time and this tree here has some leaves already starting to change and that's going to go along well with our fall weather as we head through the mid portion of the week. But let's head on to the satellite picture and see what's going on on your Tuesday, September 17th. Well, for the most part across the Northeast, we don't have a whole lot. We have high pressure in control and we should feel very happy that that high pressure is here because that is holding Hurricane Humberto to our south and Humberto will move east as we head through the next couple days so we won't have to worry about that other than a few higher waves and rip currents on the eastern coastline there. There are a couple of showers up there in eastern Maine and if we go to this uh, radar here you will see a couple of those showers trying to ease their way from the uh, northeast down to the uh, southwest here but nothing going on across a large portion of the northeast other than having a beautiful sunny sky, that's for sure. Now heading into tonight, we will have a couple of those showers in New England, but for the most part, it's partly uh, cloudy across the interior Northeast, even mostly clear for a lot of portions. That's why you see some 40s showing up there at night, so rather cool, but still some 60s for the major cities from DC up towards uh, Philadelphia right there. Now some of these showers will hang around for your day tomorrow mainly in southern New England, so most of the northeast looks like it's going to be dry once again and partly sunny. Temperatures rather cool up to the north here, only in the 60s for highs, so definitely feeling like fall. But as you head further south, you are getting some of those 70s, but it will be uh, a low humidity uh, type situation, so feel very pleasant out there. And then heading into Wednesday night, we're really going to drop those temperatures down into the 40s once again. Look at this, even 43 in Albany, New York. That's a relatively cool night. Some of these areas could even dip down to 40, maybe a few 39s in those outlying areas in upstate New York. The big cities into the 50s under those mainly clear skies. And then as we head into Thursday, we're looking like mostly sunny for most of the region. Temperatures seasonable once again in the low to mid 70s, maybe even 80 degrees showing up out there towards Pittsburgh. Now, as far as the tropics, we do have a lot going on here in the Atlantic Ocean. The first one, obviously, is uh, Hurricane Humberto. Winds about 100 miles an hour with Humberto, but that is going to head east, and it might give a close call to uh, Bermuda here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that tomorrow evening, but then that should head on out to sea. We do have Tropical Storm Imelda, and that is right off the coast of Texas there. It's mainly going to be a rainmaker here. Winds are only about 40 miles an hour at best with that tropical storm. So five to 10 inches of rain though, we could be seeing towards that Houston area right there. And then heading further out to the Atlantic, our next system to watch is Tropical Depression 10. That is right here. That will become Jerry over the next day or so and then turn into a hurricane by the Lesser Antilles and be a hurricane over the weekend here as it goes north of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Fortunately, it's forecast to make that turn and miss the Southeast United States. So we shouldn't have to worry about effects from Jerry, but that's a long way off we're talking about next week. So we really have to watch Jerry carefully as we head through the upcoming days. So let's head back to the Northeast here and sum things up for Allentown, Pennsylvania. This is actually the steel stacks in neighboring Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. But as far as temperatures are concerned for the rest of the week, like we said, seasonable 70s through the rest of the work week, even a few 40s at night. So certainly some nice sleeping weather out there. But then as we head into the weekend, we're gonna warm things up into the low to mid 80s maybe. So little touch of summer is still on the way. Hey, remember we are WeatherWorks, your weather experts. Visit us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, weatherworksinc.com. I'm meteorologist Mike Mahalik, and we'll be back with another forecast update on Thursday.